there's something you don't see all too often. We have two Category 4 storms in the western Pacific. That is Ragasa and Nagori, located just towards the east of the Gorgasara Islands. And this storm, as impressive as it is, by the way, Nagori, it's got that buzzsaw shape, just absolutely symmetrical and a scary storm. The good news is that it is expected to make a churn towards the north and east and kind of stay out the sea. But of course, majority of this discussion here is going to be about this one. Nando, also known as Ragasa internationally, has continued to strengthen today. Now the winds within it are about 115 knots, so that, that Cat 4 status expected to become a Super Typhoon Cat 5 as it approaches the Batanas Islands and uh, the islands just off of the northern coast of Cagayan here as well. So yeah, they're going to be looking at some absolutely destructive conditions here uh, as we go ahead through Monday. The good news, those islands are really built for this storm system and we can zoom right in on it. it yeah, they are definitely the infrastructure is there it's building codes are high and if you don't build for it your house is going to be removed in a year's time so obviously it does take kind of you know the priority to build everything that way but we do have that heavy rainfall and still some tropical storm strength winds that are extend well towards the south across northern areas of Cagayan, Ilocos Norte and a good portion of the northern half of Luzon in fact uh, signal force warnings are in place for uh, pretty much all of this area and I do think the latest update actually put signal force 2 already for northern coastlines of Luzon so I don't usually show this in these videos because they do change so rapidly um, so does the intensity change rapidly by the way this is the last 12 to 24 hours actually look at that big just jump up from this being a tropical storm with winds about 55 knots now up to that 130 knot threshold I don't J um, JTBC is at 115 right now I would be surprised if the next update they do have it up to that super typhoon status. So an absolute beast of a storm system continuing to strengthen. It is still expecting to make this kind of little wobble towards the north and west. Too close for comfort. And, and this is the ECMWF, for example, by Monday evening. There's the GFS and there's the ICON. Now they all are pretty much in line with the eye passing over right over Kalan here. Um... I forgot the name of this island. I do apologize. But right over these islands and the right front quadrant being on Basco uh, back here towards the north. So the left front quadrant, by the way, Santa Ana, Apari, um, you're going to be seeing uh, would would account for a bit of a storm surge even backing up the Cagayan River here. So there's plenty of impacts to be had in that area, even though the core, that destructive center is just offshore. You're still going to be way too close for comfort uh, from this as it passes on by. And then if we pull back the bigger picture, you get all that moisture flow coming in from the west. So up and down the west coast, you're going to be looking at heavy rainfall. So there's a lot happening with this. Not only the west coast of Luzon, but look at out here towards um <clears throat> the east coast of Taiwan. In fact, let's just add up these rainfall totals and just see what it looks like as we go ahead through about the next three days. And yeah, see here, look at these just totals of two to 300 millimeters in spots. Then we go down towards the south and, you know, right over the islands here, of course, that's going to be some heavy rainfall. But I think the heavier stuff is going to be in northwestern Luzon. You see how even at heading towards opera area, two to 300 millimeters. Some areas on higher elevations could see as much as four to 500 millimeters across parts of region one. Wow, pretty incredible how the mountains stop it because if we look just towards the uh, east of the mountains across the Cayenne Valley, it includes Isabella, parts of Aurora. <laughs> Not really going to be seeing much of anything as far as significant rain totals. So it, it is incredible. And let's pull back the picture. You can see how both that flow towards the north and the flow towards the south really increases those rain totals. And then on top of that, this of course heads over towards Hong Kong. And uh, as we go ahead into Tuesday and the Wednesday, this is gonna be passing just south of Hong Kong here, right front quadrant, that is going to be a very bad day for our friends out here into uh, southern China. So after this passes by the Philippines, of course, our attention is going to change over towards this area, too. So a lot going on out there today. But I can tell you right now, this storm system continuing to strengthen and intensify visible satellite imagery just prior, um, that just after sunrise here, showing an absolute beast of a storm. We'll switch this over to infrared. And yeah, it is. Look at that just incredible so um yeah i'm going to continue to keep you posted on this and uh, if you have any questions as always let me know stay safe out there friends